Sadhana Kriyas or loosening practices to increase microcirculation. Neck exercises, forward and backward neck bending. Stand in an alert posture. Keep feet comfortably apart and your arms on the waist. Exhale and bend head forward slowly and try to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, move the head as far back as is comfortable and come back with inhalation. Right and left neck bending. Exhale, bend the head slowly to the right. Bring the ear as close as possible to the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to normal position. Exhale, bend the head to the left side. Head up to normal position. Right and left twisting. Exhale, gently turn the head to the right side so that the chin is in line with the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to the normal position. Exhale, turn the head to the left side. Inhale and bring the head to the normal position. Neck rotation. Bend the head forward trying to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, slowly rotate the head clockwise. While coming down, exhale. Rotate the head in anti-clockwise direction. Feel the stretch around the neck and loosening up of the joints. Space of tension in the neck. People with neck pain and spondylitis should do the practice gently. Trunk twisting. Keep the legs about two feet apart. Raise both the arms up to chest level with the palms facing each other. Exhale, twist the body toward the right side so that the left palm touches the right shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Now, exhale, twist the body towards the left side so that the right palm touches the left shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Repeat, do slowly with breathing. Avoid this practice in case of vertebral and disc disorders and during menstruation. Relax in standing posture. Knee movements. Inhale. Lift your arms up at the shoulder level. Exhale. Bend the knees and bring down your body to the squatting position. Inhale and straighten the body. Repeat two more times. This practice strengthens the knees and hip joints. Avoid this in case suffering from acute arthritis. Exhale while bringing down the hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four. High knees running in place. Instructions. Starting position. Stand up straight with your arms at your sides. Muscle contraction. Run in place, raising one knee at a time at chest level. Swing your arms forward and back as quickly as you can. Do this exercise for at least 30 seconds. End of the exercise. Muscles involved.
इस आसन में हमें रिलैक्सेशन और कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मिलता है नेक्स्ट आसन है हस्त उत्तान आसन इस आसन में हमारी रिस्ट हैंड स्ट्रेच होता है हमारा अब्डोमिनल मसल स्ट्रेच होता है नेक और बैक मसल्स हमारी रिलैक्स होती है नेक्स्ट आसन है पद हस्त आसन इस आसन में हमारी फुल बैक स्ट्रेच होती है लूज हैमस्ट्रिंग्स और काफ मसल स्ट्रेच होती है इसमें हमारी स्पाइन की मोबिलिटी इंप्रूव होती है नेक्स्ट आसन है अश्व संचालन इस आसन में हमारी स्ट्रेंथ डेवलप होती है हमारे पीछे वाली लेग की हिप लेग्रेड मसल स्ट्रेच होती है जो फ्रंट साइड की मसल है और जो आगे वाला पैर है उसकी हिप एक्सटेंशन स्ट्रेच होती है और नेक्स्ट आसन है पर्वत आसन इस आसन में हमारे ओवरऑल बॉडी का ब्लड सर्कुलेशन इंप्रूव होता है नेक्स्ट आसन है अष्टांग नमस्कार इस आसन में हमारी चेस्ट और हैंड्स की मसल्स शोल्डर्स की मसल्स को स्ट्रेच मिलती है नेक्स्ट आसन है भुजंग आसन इस आसन में हमारी अब्डोमिनल मसल्स फिर से स्ट्रेच होती है शोल्डर मसल्स स्ट्रेंथन होती है और स्पाइन को भी अच्छे से मोबिलिटी मिलती है नेक्स्ट आसन है पर्वत आसन अश्व संचालन आसन जिस साइड आपने पहले अश्व संचालन किया है इस बार रिटर्न कर देता है दूसरा पैर आगे होगा नेक्स्ट है पद हस्तासन उसके बाद है हस्त उत्तान आसन और प्रणाम आसन I 
skills. Relax the body with a few deep breaths. Keep the left arm on the left knee in Gyan Mudra. The right hand should be in Nasikagra Mudra. Place the right thumb on the right nostril. Breathe in from the left nostril. Fill the left nostril. Exhale through the right nostril. Next, inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril and exhale through the left nostril. This is one round of Nadi Shodhana or Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Repeat for another five rounds. For beginners, the duration of inhalation and exhalation should be equal. Gradually make it one is to two. Inhalation, exhalation. The breath should be slow, steady and controlled. The main purpose of this pranayama is to purify the principal channels of energy. This nourishes the